you'll find that sometimes in production you're going to need to add in a background image to work on a detail area of a model or to help you with animation using it as a guide for a reference or a rotoscope. So what I'm going to do is create a figure here. We have our figure in our 3D space and we're in our perspective view. I'm going to click to the four views. I'm going to use my front view, change my display to garage shading. And I'm going to go to edit and say configure. And you see now in our attributes manager, we see the back already pops up and we see image is highlighted. So I can click on this go to my desktop and grab a quick image that one okay you see now in the background we have an image that's in the viewport behind our figure so I'm going to make this screen bigger the viewport bigger and you see we have a couple of things here we first have show pictures we can check that off not show we have linear and we have nearest so you notice that when I go into linear it's kind of faded kind of glossy showing the compression of the background image when I sl switch to nearest you see that there's kind of like lighting information that matches the character as well as to the background image now I'll deselect the character so you can see that now the background image is kind of matching that we have a different ways to rescale and move the background image within the viewport so I can take the offset X, move it from left to right. I can take offset Y, move it up and down. And you see it has keep aspect ratio, so I can go in and change this. So I'm going to type in 1280. Hit enter. And you see now it actually gets bigger. I can go in and slide this in, you know, to make it bigger or small, whatever I need to finish up my rotoscope or my reference and my shot. We also can rotate this. So I can turn this and rotate this left or right. Yeah, and then we have our transparency. Right now, zero transparency. I can go in and make this almost to not show at all. You know, all depending on if you want to do a render and have this kind of like a ghost image in the back to see if the model or the animation matches the references in the background view. Bring this up to zero. And we have the alpha mode. Again, we can use this as an alpha channel if we're taking a render into Photoshop. So we can have it normal, which it takes out the white background or inverted. Now, this only works in the various uh, viewports. It doesn't work in perspective because we're working with three dimensions or three axes. You notice that it works more so in the front view because we still have only X and Y. So left, right, front back top and bottom are perfect for adding a background image so I'm gonna make this small to bring up my four views and I'm going to my right view now go right back into edit say configure okay. and I'm gonna pull up another image to bring in here okay and I think that's actually the same one okay but it works just for the example here let me get another one so you can say it, it holds different images. It's a Tuscan. Okay, that's a Tuscan. We use that one. So you see now we have this in, and we still can control this anyway. Um, I can make it transparent, the same as the other file. And see, we have two rotoscopes here. We have one to show the, the side of our character and one in the front. So again, you can use all these different views to help you with the modeling and the animation. Good reference tool to use. You will be guaranteed to use this in your production whether you do modeling or animation okay it's just a guarantee and it's a great feature that really helps you get things accurate so you can have accurate models with detailed sightings and good accurate animations that matches up to the rotoscope down the bottom just to mention that we have the world grid just to change the grid spacing okay really doesn't affect and you really shouldn't change it but it all depends on what your production needs are but you can change these from the lines you see it's set to 100 okay. you can move these lines up or down all what you depend to need here and it will match in to the um, background that you currently have the background image in or the viewport that you currently had the background image in so again a very useful tool that will help you with modeling and animation that you're guaranteed to use Please keep this in mind and use it as much as possible to get 
good, accurate modeling and animation information.